Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's your Mary Dial the Truth and yes, it's another beautiful video with this beautiful lady right here and we'll be talking to her today she came back all the way from Japan to start a food business in Ghana can we beat that? so we're going to find out more before we start talking to her hello madam please tell us your name and yes, how did you <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Dorothy Achampo. Dorothy Achampo. Okay. So let's go directly to business. Why did you leave Ghana for Japan? Well, it was my daddy's idea. Okay. I had no idea. And I'll travel. So he just came to pick me up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And when you go to Japan, please, I would like you to be further with me today. When you go to Japan, what was the reception like? Well, it was really good uh, because my stepmom is a Japanese. Wow. So the treatment was good for me. Wow. Yeah. So it's because you are you have a Japanese family. It's not because so are you okay now you have a Japanese family, you have a stepmom. Mm. Okay. Alright guys, so I have to carry sister because sister wants to be in this video. If not, she will cry the whole day. Okay, so we're continuing. Alright, you said your stepmother is in Japanese. Uh, so your reception was good. But in general, how do how is the treatment like for black people in Japan? Well, Don't still Japanese. Speak a second. <laughs> Could you Few Japanese who are used to blacks love blacks, mm -hmm. but those that they are not used to blacks, they are afraid of us. Wow! You know, some of them think we live in the tree. You know, they are not human and that stuff. Wow! So it depends on everyone. So did you meet any at any point in time at all coming in contact with Japanese people that are like, huh, black? <laughs> and they, they make fun of you and stuff like that. Oh, you ever oh have yes, 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 wow. I did. Once I was in a train once going to work. You know, they are high school students. And when they saw me, they were like, they were screaming, hey, black, black. You know, some of them were running. I said, what, what is wrong? Wow. So when I go to the house and I ask my guy, what is really wrong? Because the moment they saw me in the train, some of them was running away from me. Where I was sitting, they didn't come closer to me. Wow. Yes. So it's that, that was, bad. That was okay. when I, I wouldn't say it's bad because they're not they used to they black. They are not used to black. So yeah. Yes. Okay, so, just like us here, when kids yes. see white people, they want to touch yes, them, they want to yes, touch their yes, hair and yes. all that because we're not used to white, white people. Correct. So that is understandable. Correct. That is understandable. So, Living in Japan, did you? How did you communicate? You have to learn the language first. So how do you say good morning in Japan? Oh, ohayou gozaimasu. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Which is how are you? No, good morning. Good morning. Yes. And how do you say? How do you respond? Oh, ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Yes. It's the same the thing. Same thing. Yeah. Wow. And how are you? Oh, again to the sky. Okay. Thank you, this car. Lord, I'm missing it. <laughs> I think you're going to take me through a Japanese lesson proper. So, 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 restaurants. Mm -hmm. You live in Japan. How many years in Japan? 12 years. Tw okay, 12 years? Yes. Okay, 13, 12 years? No, I came in uh, 2017. Okay, 2017. Wow, wow, wow. And why food business? Why food business? Because I, I believe you went to Japan to school and all that. So why did you decide to come back to Ghana and start food business? Well, thank you very much for your question. Um, I love cooking. When I was growing up, I love cooking. So anytime my dad comes to Ghana, you know, I'm the one doing the cooking for him, breakfast, lunch, and supper. So he was like that. I can see that you are passionate about cooking. Mm -hmm. And I right. said yes. So he told me that, okay, I'll open a restaurant for you. Mm -hmm. Will you be okay with that? I said, oh, sure. Yeah. So when I went to high school, I did home economics at 
high school. So me personally, I love cooking. Wow. I love cooking. Yeah. Wow. If you leave me, I can cook the whole day wow. without getting tired. So, so okay, it is a passion that you yes. have already, yes. and Daddy decides to start a restaurant. Okay. So that is the reason why you came back to Ghana yeah. to start a restaurant. So how is how is Daddy feeling like right now that you have? Oh, now you'll be very happy wow. that I have accomplished his dream. Okay. That was his biggest dream. Okay. You know, he wanted to do for me, wow. and unfortunately he couldn't. Why? So, uh, oh, he passed away. Whoa! Yeah. Sorry, 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 Daddy. Wherever you are, I believe that you are excited and you're so happy for Dorothy that she's fulfilling that dream you had for her. And may you so rest in peace. So, restaurants is because Daddy, 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 Daddy noticed this this talent in you, this cooking gift in you, so I decided to help you achieve it. So years in Japan and coming back to Ghana for these few years, can you say that it has been more profiting in Japan or these few years in Ghana has been more profiting and, and fulfilling? What, what, what would you say? Well, I can say yes, I can say no. But I would say both has profited me a lot. Because over there I learned a lot. You know, I've learned to be a hard-working lady over there. For you to be there, you shouldn't be a lazy person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Japanese are hard workers, mm -hmm. let me say so. Mm -hmm. They love the work. So, I've learned a whole lot. And over there, got me more experience. And it helps me, most of my equipment that I'm using, I brought them from Japan. Wow. You know, wow. So, it has helped me a lot. Great, great. Yeah. So you cannot say the years in Japan was better than this, better than the years yes. you're in Ghana. So yeah. all of them are interwoven because you've got some experience from Japan that is helping you build your business in Ghana. Interesting, interesting. Now we move on to how blacks in the diaspora live because in Africa, when we travel abroad, we, we, we think that is the end. Mm -hmm. And we think the best is out there. So most of us, when we go there, we just finish our life there. A lot of people, when they travel there, like the, the, our parents and all that, when they go there, they just want to live the whole of their life there and maybe just retire and come and die in Ghana. What do you think about this idea? Don't you think blacks in the diaspora should come back to Africa and invest in Africa? Looking at it, you just said that Japanese people are very hardworking. I think we blacks are very hard working as well. Mm -hmm. So why can we, why is it that when we go there, we always want to come back to retire? Why can't we come here and invest? Thank you. Well, I think this question, it's individual thing. Yeah. We have so many blacks who are there, but who are businesses over here. Okay. And we have some of them to hold off any business yeah. over here. So I think it depends on you. But it's very good when you travel, you get experience. When you get some capital, you have to come back home and do something for the future. You know, because living in someone's land for the rest of your life, for me, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, when you go there, you get some experience. You have to come back home, do something for the community. You know, for me, opening this, it has helped some of us over here because I employed some people to work at the end of the day, you know, they are not going to get money from their parents, you know, because, because they are working, so they can get money from here. So I think when you're, when you're over there and you get something, you have to come back home and establish something for yourself. Because I know a few people who have business over here. That is, you know, they are making them good. Some of them are still here, you know, they haven't gone back. So I think it's a very good idea to come back home and do something for yourself and also for your community and for the nation as well. Interesting, interesting. So generally, how was your bosses when you were working in Japan? How was it like? How 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 was, how was the treatment? You being an African, how did how did the bosses treat you as well? Wow. They love me so much. Wow. They love me so much. 
I'm a hard working time. So when I'm working, I don't care whether you're my sister or you're my brother. I don't pay attention to you. I pay attention to what I'm doing. You know, so my bosses love me so much. You know what? One of my bosses called Mr. Louis. He's from America. He's a car dealer. You know, I, I worked so hard for him. At the end of the day, he bought me a car. Wow. Yes, he bought me a car. Wow. So my bosses were so in love with me because of my hard work. Interesting. So I want to talk about this car part. So because of your hard work, your boss got you a car. Mm -hmm. And I hope there was no relationship attack. There was oh, nothing no, of that sort. No. You know, because right here in Africa, before your boss can get you a car, mm -hmm. that means you are meeting him after hours. No, no, you, you, like seriously, mm -hmm. you must have a, 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 a let's say a sexual relationship with your boss. Most of the times, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that it's every boss, but I'm saying most of the times for a boss to get a car for a worker trust me especially a lady for that matter trust me there has to be this sexual connection <laughs> but for your boss to just look at the nature so, so what i'm trying to hit on here is that let's not look at the body of the person mm -hmm. but what the person is bringing to your company the what the person is adding to your company and then whatever gifting you can give to the person give the person free of charge without asking for anything with them bosses so that's the relationship you had with your bosses back in Japan. Yeah. Okay, so you decided to move back. So how do you feel like you you would move back to Japan anytime soon? Oh, well, not now. Not now because I love my work, you know, and I don't want to leave it because whilst I'm here, I'm putting more effort into it, you know. So I want it to get a good stand. Before I'm traveling. Mm. So you can tell me now that this business is 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 profiting, oh, yes. or this establishment is making you happy. Like there there is there is something coming out of it. Oh sure, no alarm is waking me up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I love being here, and I love the work as well because at the end of the day, people are coming in for me. So I'm, I'm very makes you happy. happy. Alright, and that note, we're going to end on this happy note. Thank you for talking to us. And I'm glad that you're happy. Today I'm going to eat plenty. Because oh. I have to eat. I have to eat. Anywhere there is food, I love to eat. I'm going to eat today. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Like, share, comment. And let's get your views. Do you know how to speak oh, yeah. Japanese? Leave one line there if you know how to speak Japanese. But if not, yes, link up to the restaurant in West Ligon and, and get some food, you can get some lunch. It is a nice restaurant. You look, see the environment, very beautiful and cozy in here. So make time and come around and get some lunch. I'll leave her contact down there below so that yes, you can hit her up if you want food to be delivered to your office. All right, guys. Stay blessed. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you.